Hi, Creation for Cures friends. I'm Eileen and I'm a volunteer with Creations for Cures. And I'm excited to be here with you in the month of June to do our June craft. I love the month of June, mostly because my birthday is in the month of June. But there's a lot of other fun, exciting things that happen in the month of June. Um, usually school is ending and kids are getting out for their summer break. Um, we have Father's Day, the first day of summer. We even have Flag Day. So there's so many fun things to do in June. Um, one of the things I also like to do at the very beginning of June is plant my garden. And some of the things we plant in my garden are specifically, um, are specifically grown to attract hummingbirds and butterflies. So I thought it would be super fun to make a paper plate butterfly for our craft in June. So here's a couple of summer butterflies that I've already done. Super fit, super easy. I've done them a couple of different ways. This one I painted, this one I used some little tissue paper um, for, but you can create anything you want with your butterfly. Um, I'm excited to do this because I don't get as many butterflies as I'd like in my garden. So this way I'm gonna create my own butterfly so I can have as many as I want. Look, Dora. That's funny, Boots. So let's go over what our our supply list is. So we want to make sure that we have some paper plates. I have some that are already pre-cut for my wings, but I have some nice paper plates right here. Um, I have my scissors. As always, be careful when you're using your scissors. I have lots of different glue. Um, and then of course, I always have some paints, some crayons. I have some markers. And I even have some colored pencils, so you can choose how you want to color your butterfly, how you want to do it. Um, I also have some googly eyes. Look, I have my whole container of googly eyes with googly eyes on it. Um, I have some pom-poms that I'm going to use to create my butterfly. Um, and I have some pipe cleaners that's going to help make me my antenna. So I'm going to pull one of these pipe cleaners out. I'm going to grab this blue one right here. Maybe, I think I like the blue one. Ooh, maybe I'll use the red one. I don't know, we'll make a decision when we're doing it. Um, and then some construction paper, which is optional if you want to use that to help decorate your paper plate. So, okay. So the first thing we're going to do, is as you can see, I've already cut this one, but I'll show you how, what I'm going to do. So I'll take my paper plate and I'm going to fold it in half, just like this, okay? And then I'm gonna kinda cut out a little bit, almost like a little semicircle from the middle so that I can help kinda make my wings. I'm gonna take my scissors, being very careful, just sort of cutting out this little bit of a semicircle to create my wings. And then I'm actually gonna cut the paper plate in half. Just like that, okay. So here's gonna be my wings. Um, I'm gonna kind of glue them together so that they look like they're my butterfly wings. But before I do that, I am going to decorate them because I think that'll make it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna take my paper plate and I'm gonna use another paper plate so I can color. And I think, because I did mention it was gonna be flag day, but I think I'm going to make almost butterfly that looks a little bit like a flag. So let's do that. So I'm going to color and you can be as creative as you want. Like I said, you can use markers or crayons. You can use your paints. Like I said, on one of them, I use some tissue paper. I can even use some of my little tissue papers here. Maybe we'll do that too, but we'll see. But first, I'm just going to start coloring my paper plate. I'm going to color it in to design my beautiful wings. So you get to do whatever you want. I think I'm really excited about this. Let's see. This kind of be fun. Have you ever seen a butterfly? Oh. Sometimes we get them in the garden and I love to look at them. They're so cool and usually their wings are just amazing. Um, do you know what a group of butterflies is called? It's actually called a flutter. So if you see a group of butterflies, they're called a flutter. Wow, look at all those flutterflies. 
which I think is fun because that's exactly what their wings do. Um, but I'm excited to see how you decorate your wings because I would love to know if you were a butterfly, what color would your wings be? Aren't my wings smashing? Twilight made them for me. I just adore them. Um, I think I would probably have really bright colors as my wings. I really like bright colors. Um, honestly, the brighter the better. So I think my wings would be almost neon color, like as bright as it can get. That's fun for me. I love those bright colors. But of course, you can have yours be anything you want. I mean, I guess if I was a butterfly in October, I'd probably have more Halloween colors. Um, I think that that would be amazing. I'd be more like a Halloween butterfly. But you can obviously, your wings can be any color you want. So. If you want something to go really, really fast, you hit the fast forward button. Uh, fast forward. Okay. So I've decorated my wings. And like I said, I kind of made them look like a flag. I used a little tissue paper just to kind of give it a little texture just for fun. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue my paper plate together to look like the wings, okay? If you painted them or anything like that, make sure you kind of wait for them to dry before you kind of try to glue the pom-poms on. But I'm going to glue my paper plate together. I'm gonna use some of my, hopefully my stickiest glue. Use a little glue on both. And I'm going to glue my wings together. Just like that. Oh, perfect. Okay. I'm going to push down, make sure the glue kind of sticks. Then I'm also going to, while my glue is sticking, I'm going to glue my pom poms on. That's going to be the butterfly. That's going to be the body for, um, for my butterfly. But here's how my wings look. So they're together like that. So let me get my body on the wing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this little red one, I think, as the head of my, my little butterfly. And then I have all these cool little blue pom-poms. One, two, three. Probably need a lot of glue to glue them on there. Ugh. Did you also know that butterflies actually taste with their feet? Feet? My feet! Uh, I don't know if I would want to be able to eat with my feet, but it's kind of a neat thing. Something wrong with your foot, Franklin? No, it's just itchy. Both of them. my body down my body's getting glued down I'm just gonna hold it up just kind of so you can see what it looks like so there's the body of my butterfly I have some fun googly eyes I'm gonna attach those I'm gonna want my butterfly to be able to see where he's flying right there's my glue there's my eyes okay and my other eye really starting to look good. So there he is. Okay, now I'm gonna do his antenna. It's antenna! All right, place that up. I think maybe, I think I'm gonna use this super fun one. I'm gonna fold it in half, just like this. And you can either cut the pipe cleaner so you have two separate ones, um, these look like they're going to be kind of long, but we'll see. I'm going to curl them up. I think there's a kind of one that look like his little antenna. That. Curl this one up. This. So there you go. So there's my antenna. And I'll just glue those right to the top of the head of my butterfly. Use quite a bit of glue because I really wanted to say, oops, I closed my glue up. Hold on. There we go. Lots of glue. Make sure.
sure my antenna sticks. Push down on it on the glue. Almost done with my summer butterfly. Just gotta, yeah, sometimes these, just gonna hold it down just for a minute to see if I can get this antenna to stick to him. Probably would have been better to use one of the furry ones. It probably would have glued a little bit better, but listen, it's my art project. I'm gonna make sure it works. Oh boy, this may be, let me try this glue. I might have to switch and use a different pipe cleaner because these maybe are not gonna stick as well as I'd like. But let's see, let's see if I can get it to work. Anything, I'll hold it while you guys look at it. Let me see. Well, I'll wait for my glue to dry, but this is the way my pie, this is the way my butterfly is gonna look if I can get the glue to dry for my antenna. It looks pretty much, let's see, looks like these two. So this was my summertime butterfly. This is my other one. This is the one I used for the tissue paper. You can see how these are connected. Let me see if I can get this to work. There's my other one. There's my Flag Day Butterfly. Look! <laughs> nice butterfly. I hope you had fun doing the craft with me and learning about butterflies. You can see all of our YouTube videos um, on all the crafts that we've done on our YouTube channel on Creations for Cures. I will see you again in July with a fun new craft. I look forward to it. Have a great June.